Oh, hey, what do you know? Another roguelike. Luckily, Tumbleseed is quite different. It does have some of the more typical roguelike progression elements, but it brings in new mechanics and a jolly design I think you're going to like. Tumbleseed is about getting a little seed to the top of a mountain. The seed is controlled indirectly with the bar under it. I'm using a controller to push up the left and right side of the bar. Reminds me of playing Ape Escape and realizing how exciting controls can be. Since this kind of control scheme isn't used much outside of twin stick shooters, it feels exciting and fresh, especially to the roguelike genre. It's also a lot more difficult than watching this video is probably making it out to be. So easy to explain, but getting your brain to actually keep track of the current imbalance of the bar with where you want to go, it's a lot of work. The level indicator in the middle is a nice touch and I'm glad it's included in the game. There's no reason for this game to hide anything from you. It wants you to be drawn in with how simple it looks. At slow speeds, the seed is precise and easy to control. Things start to get out of hand quickly though as you roll towards a hole and your impending doom. Your brain will start to overcompensate and, well, I feel pretty dumb a few times for panicking and pushing my seed right into the hole. This game takes some skill to get good at, especially going straight up without any left or right movement. Tumble Seed is at its heart a roguelike, so you should expect a challenge. Not only are you trying to dodge holes in the ground, but also unique enemies. You see, you're a seed, and at certain points in the level, you can plant whatever seed type you're using. So the game makes you go in all of these directions, trying to plant seeds while dodging the enemies. It is difficult, but not so much that I ever wanted to stop playing. I also enjoy the seed switching ability, and that you're able to do it on the fly. You start off with some basic seeds and find more unique ones along the way. In order to balance it out, you need to spend crystals to use your ability. For example, the original seed allows you to plant a flag that you can respawn at, but you also need to use the heart seed to regain heart. You'll see rooms along the way that you can drop into to get a new seed type that only lasts the run. All the seed types are interesting, but I wish they were explained a little more. The game does give you a chance to test them out before selecting one. Thanks game. It's really important for games to have their own unique look. Tumble Seed is in direct contrast to a lot of typical roguelike games with this color palette. Not being set in a dungeon probably helps. I'm really impressed with the simplicity of the design and how it's so unique. There are all these little touches to make the world feel alive and dangerous. The devs should get a lot of credit here. They really put their hearts into it. I should also mention that there are daily challenges and quests to help round out the experience. You'll also be rolling to some pretty good tunes. Here is 20 seconds of gameplay at full volume. My pet opinion is that Tumble Seed is a unique experience and one of the best games I've played this year. If you think you're surprised by hearing me say that, I'm surprised I'm saying that. When a game is this beautiful, plays this well, and is something I've never seen or played before, how could I not love it? Thanks for watching. Here's probably another video to click. Just uh, click it. Thanks for watching.